Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat and we are making a return once again to Alpha State in Survive the Night. Yes, it's patch 1.0.0 once again. We're continuing on from the last episode, uh, which uh, basically we've just sort of had a look at the uh, the new patch, uh, seeing what had been changed, and uh, just just experiment with the game. Now, I have I'm pleased to say that the uh, stability of the game has improved so much. Um, they've released it to Alpha, and it just immediately has has seriously improved. So, um, if you've not been uh, uh, you know keeping an eye on the game or if you've not watched or played the game for a long time now I think is the time I would recommend to get back into it definitely it's it's not something that I would have uh, I would have said sort of a couple of months ago uh, maybe but uh, yeah the, the amount of stuff that they put into this so far the amount of effort that and love that they're putting into the game right now is is really really good and they are really listening to the players so uh, anyway I don't want to drone on uh, about that like I say if you've not played it for a while get back into it it's really really good at the moment so I would certainly recommend it but with that being said we're just gonna get straight back into this for you guys right so we're on day three how many zombies have we killed 40 zombies, Jesus. Yeah, I did, I did kind of try and go out at night, and uh, yeah, it didn't work out very well for me. So I'm just getting that health back, and then we're going to head out. I'm not sure where we're going to go, though. Like, we're at Sage Creek right now. Um... I mean, it's not very big. I don't really know whether I want to go to Union Point though. Now the map's not working incredibly great now as well. I think I'm. I want to go to Addersfield. So we have to go out of Sage Creek by. Yeah. So I think it's effectively where we came in to Sage Creek. We need to go back that way. And then we need to go down the winding roads. Yeah, well, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to head to Addersfield. Um, that's our health back, so... So I don't really want to be going through all of these houses one by one in the hope that I will find a gun, a decent gun. So it's probably just best if we head out. Jesus, there's quite a few zombies in there. Is this a park? It's new. Nice iron railings there. Right, so where did it say? The garage right next to the road out. So that, that must be the garage that it's on about, right? Nice billboard there, God help us. Yep, God help us all, my friend. That was a deer up there, but I don't have anything to skin it with. Uh, I just feel three miles away, Black Rock is seven. Or three kilometers, it's probably measured in kilometers. I always call it miles just because I'm, you know, I'm British, so <laughs> that's kind of what we measure everything by. Now this, I believe, when I interact with this, open your inventory and hold shift. This will change the drop button into a place button. Food items will begin cooking as soon as the fire is burning and they are on the grill surface. Okay, let's try this. Uh, 
shift. Oh, place. Ah! Oh. No way! So is that just cooking now? Can I put that on there? So the water canteen looks like it's cooking. No way! No, I know! Oh, the terminal can go away. I don't make the terminal go. Go away. Go away, Mr. Terminal. There we go. Um. It's not working. So that's clean. That's still dirty. But wait, if I go Yeah, then we've got the empty canteen here, so if we search then we can make a, a dirty water canteen. Oh, I hate this thing where it does this. Yeah, right, that's, this is working. And then we go and we put a dirty canteen. No, 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 no. Don't you be drinking that. Where is it? Water canteen place. Well, now we know how the cooking works. I was, I was trying to figure that out before, and I just, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it. I love how the lead, lids just pop off of these things, it's brilliant. So we're going to fill ourselves full of all of this. The other thing that I want to do as well... Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to make... Uh, Clean rag search, sleeping bag. Alright. That's all of that done. So let's eat some more food. And then we could be on our merry way. There we go. So we've got 1,650 out of our 2,000 that we need to, uh, 2,000 calories that we need to eat, so that's pretty good. Find our way back to the road now and make our way to Addersfield. See what's changed over there. Alright, so there's a couple of houses here that we're just going to quickly search through, I think. 
There's obviously going to be some zomboids in here. Die, bitch. We've got 12 gauge. We never really find or use shotguns, but random plant coming through the floor, because, yeah, why not? Now we also need to stock back up on our food items now. So, in order to cook the food, I wonder if you could do that with an actual stove. If you just put them on the top of the stove, I wonder if that would work the same. I'm presuming so. Not going to be anything here, is there? Yeah, there is something here. Or is it food of some description? Rice box. Get me out of here. Um. Yeah, Addisfield's definitely this way, which is what I suspected it would be. There's a zombie in here. Sounds like there's two in here, maybe. Oh, Jesus, he's sprung up on me fast. Is he gonna die? Wow. He really took some beating. Fan belt. No foodstuffs. Scrap metal. Somebody's been here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, if you use these wood stoves, right, you pull the stuff in. I wonder if you could put the stuff on the top here. And it would still cook. Nine mil rounds. Decent. What about this one? Uh... So we've got 41 Rouser Rig bullets now. But both of our Rouser Rigs are really poor quality. What do you mean there's no ammo inventory? There's plenty of ammo. Another guy in here. Oh, there's two people in here actually. She's gonna get a run at me now because the gun needed reloaded. Needed fiddling about with. Any more for any more. Oh, come on. That was a full on headshot on my dude. Ooh, baseball bat. Yes, please. Any food stuffs? Got a dirty water bottle in there. Uh, an empty water bottle in there. Nothing useful in here by the looks of things. Right, on to Addisfield then. So this should lead us straight down. This road should lead us straight down into Addisfield. Uh, I believe that we are just here. We'll cross this bridge and we'll follow this road all the way down, go straight into Addisfield. Going here. A big dude. Well, the wooden baseball bat doesn't have much there. Come on, buddy. Die. 
go. There's definitely more people in here. No in here. Bring it. I'm ready for you. Told you I was ready for you. Oh, I'm not ready for you though. <laughs> Your arm got stuck through the door. You gotta love the glitches. Sometimes some games are just brilliant because of the glitches. I mean, look at Bethesda for example. I don't think they've ever released a game that hasn't had some form of glitch in it. What's this? Granola bars. Woo! Alright, so we're just going to basically uh, stock our food stuffs back up, I think. What have we got in here? Nothing decent. There's an alternator in there, but they're so heavy. They're just kind of pointless to take. I think I was really lucky when I found that, um... Wasn't there an axe there? Hatchet. Anything up there? No. Ooh, here we go. What we got here? Shotgun? Draw knife? What's a draw knife? Interesting. Can we use a draw knife to skin and well, just get the meat off of a uh, an animal, perhaps when we're hunting? Because that would be super useful. Three shots from a shotgun? Are you serious? Oh shit. <laughs> I, I really could do some cleaning kits for this. Oh, she died. Ha! <laughs> nice. We search this bitch. Yeah, we search her. See what we've got in here. See, I don't think. Um, I think the balance of the zombies is now really well done. It's it's pretty spot on, in my opinion. Um, I mean, with, with the guns and stuff, it's a bit weird because the with the melee, I mean, you can hit them like anywhere between two and three, maybe four times for them to die. Um, and with the guns, it can sometimes take the same amount of bullets to take them down, I guess. But um, no, I, th I think it's really well balanced now. I don't think every zombie should go down in one shot. Because I just really want to make a very fun game, I don't think. Alright, this guy's come straight out. Boom. I'm quite liking the shotgun. It's a big boom boom stick. That's what I like to know, uh, call them. Uh, we've got anything in here? Probably not too much that's going to be useful to me anymore. Screwdriver. Burger helper? I don't know what that is. We'll take it anyway. Uh, I don't really want to search through the bin. Anything in the bedroom? What's this? Carburetor. Nope. Nothing in here. 
we're ideally we're looking for those good guns and stuff now really and if I could find a working car that would be super useful so I think we've got it down now guys like the whole survival aspect this is, I think this is something that somebody told me to do a long time ago, but I really sort of only just, I don't know, <laughs> I only just decided to sort of get on board with it, I guess. I was kind of really wishing that I would, uh, or really hoping rather, that I would meet someone while I was out and about. I think this is Addersfield, by the way, the big uh, place here. Oh, God. Run. I can't even see them. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone to Addisfield at that point. Well. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I was so close. I, d I didn't hear them creeping up on me. Like, I mean, I have my, I have my volume on pretty loud but I didn't hear them creeping up. We've learned a lot today though, we've learned how to cook stuff, how to turn uh, dirty water into clean water, how to use the campfires, we've been to loads of different places um, in uh, in Sage Creek. Um, unfortunately we didn't find any decent weapons uh, this time about, um, which is a bit of a shame but um, we did do a lot of good stuff today I think. I'm um, no just wait for this to load up and see where we spawn in. Uh, if we spawn close to Addersfield, I may run back and see if I can get my stuff. Um, but I'm not really hopeful, if I'm quite frankly honest. Where are we? Oh, I've never been to Old Town before. Maybe this is something that we might want to have a quick look around before ending this particular episode, perhaps. So there doesn't appear to be much here anyway, so... I mean, there's some shop buildings, there's some houses, obviously, as you guys probably have already seen. Have these, have this been added in yet? No, coming soon. fan belt and a short oil filter in there. Go away. Handy hardware. Market. Popov's grocery. We're always in Popov's grocery to try and find food. Um... Kevin, you've got two shops in the same place, mate. Are you uh, sure you're really sort of spreading your wares out enough? Kingston hunting. Now there looks like there's a decent weapon. I don't have anything to take out the zombies with. Should we just go for it? Go for it and hope for the best. Hi. So we're going to take you down one by one. Maybe. Oh, there's another one coming. Come on, let me get in here and get some weapons. So there doesn't oh yeah, there's a few bits of ammo. Reflex sight.
And we've got the hunting rifle. Ten bullets. I really like this. That's why I really like it. Right. We've got to get one armed for this. Oh god, we got two. Little bathroom, nothing in there. Map. Sit down, bitch. Is this supposed to be an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting? Maybe? Who knows? Maybe a new shop that we're just setting up, perhaps? What's that? Oh, there's a light switch. We'll go on that. Literally just found a wooden club in here. How random. I wonder if there's anything on the back. Probably not. There's some ammo. Three eight rounds. It's good for my hunting rifle. There's a car over there. Probably won't be usable though. Hatchet. Nice. This has actually been a ridiculously good spawn. Because we've got some ammo already, we've got a uh, hunting rifle, we've got some foods we can cook up. So, yeah, we died, but um, it's not all bad. I don't think we've ever seen a church before in this game. Let's go and have a look at the church, and then I'm going to end this video. Let's just tell me where another campsite is. Of course, it is. You coming? Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, there might be some more food in here. There's be some batteries. Use the create tab to sharpen. A sharpening stone is required. You can't sharpen a wooden club. Ah, there's an upstairs to this place, is there? There we go, that's those two guys dead. What's this? A wedge. What the hell do you use a wedge for? Random. Uh, hacksaw. Nope, not really anything in there. Apart from some foodstuffs. Where's the church? Here's the church. Let's go and have a look at the church. Will this be where I meet my cousin again? 
Uh, not for that anymore. Run. <laughs> Boom. They kind of don't really last long with this weapon. There's definitely another guy in here. Not anymore, they're in. Oh, machete. Yes, please. Oops, it is. What does this do? Mm, not. I feel like there's no power there. Watch, would there be anything down the pews? Fair point. No. Confessional. I want to go in the confessional. God damn it. Cupcakes. This is pretty cool actually, I like this place. There's some nice lovely sniping positions. Really easy to defend I suspect. What's on the, uh, what's on the back here, what's this? Interns. Random, but alright then. Maybe a homage to uh, to some people working at the company, perhaps. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. Um, I'm gonna go over to this campsite over here since so we got some food to cook. And if we come back in on the same character, I want to be able to uh, to cook that stuff up and eat it. Oh, the last one took a little bit of time to pop, didn't it? Alright guys, so... After I'd said goodbye to you all, I found this place. Um, which I haven't a clue what it is. I've never been in anything like this before. Get out of here. This is really interesting. Dirty rags, I don't know. None of that. So this looks like it's a bunker of some description. So our battery matches. So this with a load of shipping crates in. Empty cans in there. Nice wooden baseball bat. So somebody's definitely been in here before. But that not that strange? Wouldn't that be a really, really good place for a base? That would be a super good place for a base right there. Also, we've got this nice lovely deer here. And I have my nice lovely rifle. So let's uh, do some hunting. This gun is so loud. Uh, 
on five deer meat. All right, guys. So I know I was going to log out a little bit ago, uh, but we needed to find somewhere to log out at. So I jumped in this cabin, and we are now cooking all of the deer meat that we have just sort of hunted. Um, so I'm going to end this episode here whilst I'm cooking this lovely deer, which rhymes. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have indeed enjoyed watching, uh, please do smash that like button. Uh, it's much appreciated. Any comments that you've got, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I will respond to those for you. And uh, last but not least, if you've not already done so, this is the first time that you've seen any of my content. There's loads of other videos to go and look at. There's the new Gaming with Friends series, um, as well as the, uh, the new uh, The Outer World walkthrough that I'm doing as well for you guys which is going to continue uh, on as normal um, but yeah if you enjoy the content please subscribe and also tick that notifications bell which lets you know when I'm releasing content anyway guys with all that being said thanks ever so much for watching and until the next time peace out